Okay, first, we are going to be turning the ginger in julienne, which are long strips, okay? Just trim, cut the end, slice slowly, don't force it into these edges there, okay? You can more or less precise both ends. Then use the back of your knife and just peel, scrape, or whatever you call it, which is much finer than using a peeler. You're taking the dry bit of the skin, which is something we don't want. So there's no flavors there. As quick as you can, of course. Then on the other side, there we are. Then finally, this part there. Here, clean your board quickly. Done. Slice on the back to make sure I got a stable piece of ginger. You can see, I'm safe. And then slowly, my fingers direct me where to go. And there we are, we slice. And again. And then we keep everything together. Dry surface, clean knife. Now cut to very fine juliennes. Look at my index. My index allow me to control the size of my juliennes. Then I've got my thumb on the handle and I've got the index on the top of the blade. And what I'm doing is using this to slice to it. Okay, go. Therefore, you can go this way or you can do simply back to you if you're not comfortable. But what I can see is my finger controlling the movement, not the knife, actually. Now, you got juliennes. You can see they're okay, they're fine. Even so, without my glasses, I'm quite satisfied. I can touch it, that's fine. Julien, done. You turn them over and you make little squares, which we call a brunoise. Very finely done. Now, again, knife sharp, clean, table. Ready? Look, I'm not even looking because I believe I trust my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> my index allow me to understand the size of my squares. Winoise, very finely done. Then, Julien's on the side, nice and easy, and that's it.